I saved money buying these books here because they're on sale. I saved $230. Did you hear about the girl who lives in delusion? Okay, so I have this entire box here. I actually can't pick it up. It's actually so heavy. You'll never regret romanticizing your life. Okay. I don't even know what to say. Um, hi, just really quickly popping in here to tell you a funny story. <laughs> okay, so I ordered this book within this haul. It finally arrived today. I got the signed edition. Very excited about that. But I didn't just get this book, no. Booktopia, they accidentally sent me 50 books. This was one of them. <laughs> it was an entire deal. I had to call someone. Basically, there was a malfunction. I don't know. And 16 of them are like, beautiful world, where are you? Like, I love Sally Rooney, but I'm not buying 16 copies of the exact same book. You know, someone had to pack that. I wonder if the person packing it was confused as to why I got three separate orders. And in one box, there was 12, beautiful world, where are you? The other box, there was like two. And then the other box was another two. But I got this and I just wanted to show it to you because it is currently April 23rd. So happy release day for Bonnie Story by Emily Henry. Very excited I got this today. But yeah, let me show you what happened. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> there is just boxes upon boxes of this book. And yes, it's all in the special edition version. And then there's a few of this one. This one is even more. Okay, this one has a bit more. It's got so many of my faces. There's like 12 my policeman books, if you will see. There's like 12 of them. Um, and then in the last box, there's even more. Four or five. The dude I talked to on the phone was like, I'm gonna send you a code, then you can ship the books back without having to pay. This was hidden in one of the boxes. If my friend who was with me didn't open them and scavenge through, we would have had no idea. This was in there. Okay, anyways, back to the book haul. Bye! Because I also bought so much, <laughs> they gave me whatever these things are. Wine vouchers. Okay. And then this. I don't even know what this is. But I think it's like if I want to travel, I can like use these as to get money off. I don't know. And then they gave me bookmarks, which thank goodness they got me some bookmarks because I need them. I bought a lot of books. Why? Um, Because I wanted to. And also it was a sale. This skirt, I don't know why it's up there. Okay put it back up there i bought all of these books with my own money there's so many other worse things i could be buying with my money so the first book i want to talk about that i got is this book right here sally rooney beautiful world right so all in all there are 17 editions of that book in my house currently i read normal people i loved normal people i i really did and i think normal people is don't mind me just like dabbing my makeup so it doesn't look greasy. <laughs> I think Normal People is one of those books that you either like or you don't like. Very few people are in between. Normal people are like, I love Normal People. Other people are like, no, I hated it. I love Normal People. <laughs> Am I slurring my words? <laughs> this is a hardcover and I got it on sale, obviously. And look, this sticker, right? This is the kind of stickers that I like. You can take off the sticker. I'm going to also show you what it looks like without the dust jacket on. Now, I don't really know what's happened to my books because... Yeah, they've been put through the ringer a little bit. Like, they, they look a little bit dirty a little bit. Um, I don't really know. And they have it has a mark here, which I don't know what that is from because I did not do that. But the spine is very beautiful. It's about these four people and their lives. <laughs> the back doesn't really give away what's actually in this. <coughs> Alice, a novelist, meets Felix. Felix from Saltburn? Who works in a warehouse and asks him if he'd like to travel to Rome with her. I want to go to Rome. And no, it's not because of Twilight. It's actually because of the nun. In Dublin, her best friend Eileen is getting a breakup. You know, I was actually considering becoming a nun. I'm not even kidding. When I was younger, I actually wanted to become a nun. Okay. Best friend Eileen is getting over a breakup and slips back into flirting with Simon, a man she's known since childhood. Mm, so you gotta watch out for the childhood best friend. Alex, Felix, Eileen, and Simon are still young, but life is catching up with them. They desire each other. They delude each other. They worry about sex and friendship and the world they live in. Are they standing in the last light of the room before the darkness, bearing witness to something? Will they find a way to believe in a beautiful world? Oh, wait. It's just like a beautiful world. Where are you? They're looking for the beautiful world. That's why it's called Where Are You? Because it's like, beautiful world. Like, where are you? I'm looking for you. I'm so excited. Next book I'm going to talk to you about is another book I'm very excited about. It is Happy Place by Emma Heron. And when you first buy a book, they make the book so big when they're first traditionally published and then like after a year they become smaller. Well, I have this. I read Beach Read. But Emily Henry, I already talked about my opinions on that. I also have You and Me on Vacation, which I started reading on vacation and then I kind of just like stopped reading. Um, they're really cute colors, by the way. Also, yes, I know the original is People We Meet on Vacation for some reason, like the UK and the Australian editions are this. What I know about this book is that basically a whole bunch of friends, they like meet up to this happy place, okay? And this couple, they're not together anymore, but for the sake of their friends, they're just gonna pretend to be together. What could go wrong? So I am so excited for this book. Okay, next book I'm gonna talk about is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. Now, do I have the first one? What is it called? Ninth House? No. No, I don't. But this was on sale. 
And I know that I do want to get Ninth House. I do. So I was like, if this is on sale, I'm going to get it. And then, because I'm going to get Ninth House another time. Now, this is the sequel, obviously, to Ninth House. The back just says, Wealth, Power, Murder, Magic. I don't really know what exactly this book thing is about. But I know that a lot of people love Ninth House. And they like this. I think. I don't know. Actually, I haven't really heard many people talk about this one. Regardless, I will be getting Ninth House. So I was like, you know what? I may as well just get this one. Britney Spears, Woman and Me. This is Britney Spears' memoir. I'm so, so excited to read this. I love Britney Spears. The next book I have here is you either will get this book or you won't. When I think about all the books I've read in my lifetime and I think about the books that I've read the most, 1984 is definitely up there because I had to study it in school. And so I read it a lot and a lot. And I actually really liked it. Now, in 1984, it basically just follows this dystopian society. This dude named Winston. Basically, his journey. I could talk about that book for a very long time. If I start talking about it, I won't stop, so I'm not gonna. But a very prevalent character in that book is Julia. And this is basically 1984 written from Julia's perspective. When I saw this was on sale, I was like, I have to get this. What Amazon does is they sell books so ridiculously cheap that they're basically losing money, but they just want to be better than all the competitors. So normally the books on Amazon, they're the cheapest out of anywhere you can get them from. Well, not this book here, no. This book here on Amazon is like 40 bucks. I got this for like, I don't know, like 17, I think. Because the sale. If I can, I'm going to support bookstores. Like Booktopia. I'm so excited for this. This book is not floppy at all. But I remember the first time I even knew this book was a thing. I was in class and my friend, she was like, there's like a 1904 written from Julia's perspective. And that's the first time I knew about this. So I have wanted to get this book basically since like 2022. So it's been a long time and I'm finally glad that I have it. Okay, so the next book I am going to talk about is The Perfect Find by Tay Williams. This book is about to become a Netflix series, I think. I've heard so many good things about this book right here, Seven Days in June. I have not actually read it. I don't have it. But if I like this book, I will be getting it. It says she's finally found her soulmate, but he's completely off limits. And the girl, the main character, she is a former fashion editor. Former fashion editor, Jenna, is 40 broke and starting over. I'm broke after this book haul. But it's okay because I save money. Okay, and books are an investment, probably. <laughs> Surrounded by digital savvy millennials who all speak fluent Twitter. Imagine explaining that sentence to a Victorian child. Also, isn't it so funny? Because Twitter's not even called Twitter anymore, it's X. So someone who's using it gonna be like, what the hell is Twitter? You know, one day we're all gonna be old and then the young people are gonna be like, what's Twitter? <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's X. Like, that's what it used to be. No one is gonna say that. Literally no one is gonna say that. I don't know why, okay. We have My Policeman here. Now, what I know about this is that there is a movie and Harry Styles is in it. And that's all I know about it. And that is why I bought it. I also think it's a very cute little book here. It's got a nice little cover. What is this about? Okay, it's in 1950s Brighton. Very nice. Oh, I like the little thing on the back here. Someone here called Vin said it's a gripping read. Not Vin, Viv. I can't read. It is in 1950s Brighton that Marion first catches sight of Tom. Tom and Jerry, he teaches her to swim in the shadow of the pier, and Marion is smitten, determined her love will be enough for them both. A few years later in Brighton Museum, Patrick meets Tom. Patrick is beside with Tom and opens his eyes to a glamorous, sophisticated new world. Tom is their policeman, and in this age, it's safer for him to marry Marion. Oh, wait. Oh, this is deep. Wait, I'm actually really excited to read this, actually. Wait, what? This sounds so good. I'm going to read this. And then I'm going to watch the movie. Actually, I'm going to watch the movie first because if I read the book and then I watch the movie, I'm always disappointed in the movie. Whereas if I go opposite, it doesn't happen like that. Okay, next we have The Odyssey by Homer. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. All I know is that this book was on sale again. So I was like, okay. And the back sounds interesting. Look, I'll read you out a few words from the back that makes it sound interesting. Greek tale, the Trojan War. You know what I know about the Trojan War? There was this movie when I was younger. It was called like Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And basically all my historical knowledge... <laughs> A lot of my historical knowledge came from that movie. A man eating cyclops, sea god, storms, a witch transforms the sailors into pigs. This sounds so good. I got a lot of good books in here. All these books are so good. I mean, next we have Mansfield Park. Now, basically I have an entire edition of all of Jane Austen's novels, but I would never, ever, ever write in that book or highlight or annotate or do any of that. Whereas I, with my classics, I do like to write in them. I like to see the book that I'm currently reading at the moment, which I was supposed to be my book for March and I have not finished it. So it's gonna be my book for April as well. The Count of Monte Cristo. And as you can see, like I do like annotate and stuff and what are we doing? Because this book is so big. Like, I've been writing like little summaries and stuff, but I would never do that to my expensive special edition. So I'm getting like the smaller versions. Now, this book, I didn't really know what this book was. I just bought it. And um, basically, uh, they have 
let me just read it back to you. Everyone looks upon shy, self-effacing Fanny Price. What an interesting name. They have very interesting names here. We have Fanny and we have Edmund Bertram. Um, Bertram, who's her cousin. So we have a taboo romance here. I'm kidding. I know. Context. His family are horrible. They're rich because they have a sugar plantation. What evil people? There's like Henry and Mary Crawford. Yeah, they like come into the village and it sparks a series of romantic entanglements, which leads the Bertram to the brink of social disaster and finding the indisputable conclusion that propriety and pretty manners are not a substitute for integrity. Most of my classics are from like the Penguin, whatever, but I don't want to just have all of them from one brain. I like to like branch out a little bit, but we have a little polar bear. This next book that I'm going to show you, I don't want the cover because the author explicitly said that for this book, he did not want any girls on the front cover. We have Louisa here, all crayon and stuff like all over the front cover. I, I don't like it because the author of this book said he did not want a girl on the front cover. I might just like print out a cover that is like a picture of a man of Humbert. And I think I want to just like to get on here. I have heard about this book and I have been tossing up for years and years and years if I was going to read the book. The other day I was thinking about Lolita and I was like, is this a book that like I want to read? I read the reviews. There were two men in the five star reviews and I did not like what they were saying. One dude's comment was literally like, it makes me feel sick. I cannot even say it out loud. But if you go to the five star reviews of Lolita on Goodreads, at the very top or scroll down a little bit, there will be certain men's reviews and they are sickening. Like these reviews are so sick. Like they're sympathizing with the main character in here. They're sympathizing with him. The predator, the predator. The, uh, I, I feel sick. Like I actually feel sick. I feel sick. And then people in their comments are like praising them. And I'm just like, but I have seen many people talk about this book. I don't know. I kind of wanted to like cut this out. Main character is a monster. I don't know when I'll read this. So now we kind of have the books that I guarantee you will have not have heard of. Okay, because I, I've never heard anyone talk about this, like, ever. I've never even seen these in a bookstore. But, like I said, it was on sales. So, I got this book here just because I was like, mm, it sounds interesting. It's called The Wedding Party. Also, Orion. That's what the Magnolia Parks books they printed out. I was supposed to read this book in March, and I just couldn't. It, this book is so painful. <laughs> you guys, like, I was not prepared. I was not prepared. And you know what? You know something is going to be good, so you're, like, keeping up. I don't want this to be over. How am I supposed to let this go? I can't and also I don't wanna I don't wanna know I'm not talking about that one. We're talking about this book here. So this book is basically like the four sisters and they all come back to their childhood home. Decades after they first meet, their parents are what? And then their parents are getting married again. And then there's just like a whole bunch of sisters. Um there's Indy, Eden, Savannah, and Rory. And I just think that it just sounds like an interesting thing. And so I'm just like, well, I don't know, I think the cover is pretty and I think it sounds interesting. Four sisters, decades of secrets, one make them forget. I'm just like, I like sound this. So I was like, okay, well, we'll just get it. Also, here we have Give the Dark My Love. Now, I've never heard anyone talk about this, but the recommended retail price was like 40 bucks and how much was this? Like less than $5. A $5 hardcover book. New. I read the reviews for this book because I was like, okay, I typically, for books that I have heard nothing about, I do try to like look at the reviews just to be like, well, there are certain things in books that like I don't like. So like sometimes I will read the reviews to see if like certain things are in books that like, because if it is, like I won't read it. <laughs> like I won't read it unless there's like every single person in the world being like, that's the best book ever. Then I will, but for the most part, no. But this book, here, I don't know, I read one comment and it was like, it's just all about necromancy. And I was like, wait, that sounds so interesting because I read a book. It wasn't a book, it was a fan fiction, but there was no romance in there. I was like, that sounds so interesting. So I don't really know what this is. It just says, I saw death itself. It was a feral thing made of smoke and shadow. It was hollow and empty and hungry. You know, there are so many fantasy books that I read and I'm like, I really like this. And then I read the reviews and I'm like, this was such a bad fantasy book. And then I go to the, like their profile and they read all like really like high stakes fantasy. So what I've come to think and this of is I need to read all the like bad fantasy not talking about this book by the way i'm not talking about this but i'm just talking in general i need to read all, like the bad fantasy books all the people who actually like read a lot of fantasy they're like that book is horrendous like i need to read all of them before then like i actually know fantasy because then i'll never be able to read them and i'll never be able to enjoy them you know what i'm saying the problem is when you read really good books right you can't go back also a uh, life hack you know with contemporary romance books i cringe they're so cringy um but if you listen to the audiobook normally when you well i don't know if you do this but when i would read a cringy line i just keep reading it and over it, reading it and reading it and reading it and just obsessing it. just like why would you say that whereas in the audiobook they just like keep going they keep going they keep like barreling forward and you don't, can't like dwell on it you can't keep rereading it being like oh my god why would they say that next thing this isn't really a book it's called passion passion i am i just think it's so beautiful it's got the 
gold foiling edges and basically it's like if you were gonna go to paris i want to see like fashion things like get this book and i was like well i do this is so beautiful also i bought 15 books the other book that i bought is funny story by emma Henry. obviously i'm not gonna get that right now because it hasn't been released yet now the last book that i have i i was contemplating even like showing it to you initially when i first looked through this book uh, box i was like what is this book and i was like i think it's been a mistake because why is this book in my thing i did not buy this book I don't even be it when I show it. Why is there a man laying on the beach? What is this? And so I was like, did I buy that book? Um, I did. I think I didn't know what happened. Um, this book was like $3.95. And what I did, because it was an autumn sale, before I realized that you could actually press in like, oh, you just want to see like fiction books or whatever, I was scouring through lists and lists and lists of books. And anytime a book was like less than $5, I put it in my cart. And then at the end, like I went through and like deleted all the books that I was like, actually, I don't want that. Um, I was supposed to delete this and I didn't. I don't even know what this is about. Something about a bay and it's also set in Australia and I'm Australian so I can say this. I typically don't really like when books are set in Australia. Also, I don't like when movies have Australian accents, especially like with movies and stuff. I don't register the fact that I have an Australian accent. One time I was watching Dance Moms. I think I was like 10 and I was like binge watching Dance Moms and there was one season where they went to Australia and I was listening to the Australian reporter and I was like, why does she sound like that? Like, is that what I sound like? Does someone want this? I don't know what to do with this. Also, I don't know why. Why did my books come with all of this? I don't know. Okay, and it's all this. Like, what is this? Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you think about these books. And if there are any of these books that you like that is, like, my favorite book in the entire world. If a book is really bad, maybe, like... Okay, I mean, I guess you can tell me. If a book is bad, you can tell me. I am going to maybe poke an eye out while I try to do this. When I was about to purchase it, it was like, you have saved like $230. I'm saving money out here. I'm helping the economy. I can't make this up. I'm gonna like actually get into it. And I have a wedding to go to this week. That's good enough. I'm gonna do another haul because I bought more books. But the thing is, is that all these books, well, majority of them are secondhand. I'll tell you if they're not secondhand, but most of these are used. So I'm helping the environment. Books make me happy. When there's not really that much happiness in every other place in your life, you need to have like something. I'm just making sure there's nothing. My room is actually so bad. My room is horrendously messy, which is why I'm sitting here. Anyways, but yes, I bought all these with my own money. Now the first book that I have is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. You guys will have seen me get the Hellbent one. This one is so much smaller, but I didn't even care. Because I also realized that having books in different sizes, like, it doesn't actually matter. The pages are a bit discolored. The back page, it looks like, I don't know. I don't know. But also, I don't really care that much. And the spine is all bent out of shape. I don't really mind because now I don't feel guilty about me reading like this. Because, well, look, it's already bent. See that? And, you know, it's a little bit buttered up. But, again, do I care? No. This is a book that wasn't used, but I just wanted it. It's The Secret History but I don't know and the thing is, even though that this is brand new, look, it's still got something in the corner up there, and it's still got like a lifted corner down the bottom. Now, I saw this book for the longest time, so many years ago. I just thought it was a Jim Carrey memoir. It's not. It just kind of looks like Jim Carrey. Now, I did buy this book used. That massive line on the cover, I obviously did not do that. There's, you know, some little problems in the corners, if you'll see this, it's a bit lifted, and again, down the bottom there, it's a bit lifted. I don't even know how this was managed. Like, who did it? Did someone hold it? Oh, I can see someone holding it like that. Then they messed it up. And then also, obviously, the front. It's all like, see? And there's like a, a little rip at the top there. And then there's more rip. So this book has been to the trenches. I also have heard that it will put you emotionally through the trenches. So that should be interesting. I'm, I've heard so many things about this. I know what some of the trigger warnings are. So I might have to skip a few scenes. Next book I have is Parable. I actually read once upon a broken heart like sometime last year. The thing is, I liked it at the start, and then just felt like the first like five chapters I really liked, and then after that it was like, why does it feel like it's a completely different book, different writing style, different everything? Again, obviously it's used. A bit of discoloration. It looks like water damage, to be honest. Like that looks like water damage to me. See how it's a bit wavy? Because I have a book that's has water damage on it. Well, it's not only water damage. It was in a cupboard, and then someone had a snow globe and the snow globe shattered and went all over the pages lifted in the corner there the books like they've been used so obviously they're going to look like they've been used now this is another book that i bought used and it doesn't look like it's been used this book right here this is used this is second hand 
Now, there's a small little like divot at the top there. Also, sorry that I'm not explaining any of these books. I'm kind of just like telling you if they're used or not. I wasn't even going to really sit down and do this because I was just like, I just want to put them on my TBR cut, which I reorganized, you guys. Look, I reorganized it. So I was like, I just want to put them on the shelf. So I'm really quickly doing this because if not, I, I won't show you. But this is very good condition for being used. Extraordinarily good condition. And I'm pretty sure this one was marked as severely damaged. No, it was not such a lie. I did have an intense fear of missing out and I've already the first one i read the second one this is the third one and then the other two i just need to get them and read them so this book looks fine right and it's like wow wow no look at the bottom that's why this book was also used but look see and it's a bit ripped the cover up there see what's the pages look like and then the bottom of it there's some discoloration there and i read the fine print have i done my wrap up of that yet i have not done a wrap up what i thought about the fine print i listened to the audiobook because i started reading it and i was like she getting my nerves you know why did she have a penny board and why does she have like a backpack the only people who i've seen who had a penny board is like 11 year old girls in like 2016 you know so i'm like what's going on here oh you're being ageist no i'm not there's three brothers and they each have things that they have to do before they can get either shares in dreamland which is basically disneyland or an inheritance something like that that's why i thought it was the inheritance campus. i think this is the brother where it's yeah he's gotta get married this book here is also used it is the invisible life of addy larue this was one of those big books that was very popular in 2020 and i never read it the bottom is a little lifted and there's a little bit of discoloration and you know there's a few like little divots here and there definitely a few scratches but i think it's just because then it's the nature of the cover no one remembers her or something is she invisible i don't know there's something about like no one can see her or like no one remembers her or whatever and then some guy does is she a ghost the next book that i'm going to show you is twisted games this one is probably like a book that's in terrible condition see the top there if you'll see there there's like a whole bunch of like scratches that's not supposed to be like that this one here which is also used and if you'll see there's not supposed to be like those terrible scratches but this is um between a princess and a bodyguard and i love princess and the bodyguard love story i don't remember what movie it was when i was younger i cannot remember i don't remember what it was but she was she, she was a princess or something or she was some like high role person whatever and she had a bodyguard and they were in a nightclub scene because she's trying to make him jealous was she trying to make him jealous i don't know but she was just she was up on the table and she did the split and then all these guys were touching her so he like went over there and like picked her up and like threw her over his shoulder and then eventually he had to like stop working for her because like he liked her so there was all compromised but, and also yeah at the back it looks like someone's like taking a pen and like drawing on the back of that i have a thing for bodyguards okay there's just, i think it's oh yes also look down the bottom there hmm there's you can't even see it but there's a little bit on the pages there i just think it's better buying used books so this is also another used book down the back there <laughs> as you can see as you can see, it's a little bit damaged and there's a little bit of a damage up there in a the corner. This one, I'm going to give you a spoiler. I already read this book. Well, I didn't read it. I listened to it. I started reading it online before I had it. And I'm supporting the author. Okay, so don't even get mad at me for reading a book online because I'm supporting the author by buying the book. I was like, I can't do this. I could not fathom reading it. So I was like, okay, I'll listen to the audiobook of it. And I listened to the audiobook of it, so I already finished this. And my opinion is, I'm going to like this more than this. I didn't even have to they different sizes no also why is this cover this cover is so plain but then this one is like so we gotta get the other ones i'm excited for i think it's twisted hate because that's this girl named jules and then josh which is the brother of the girl in this one and then the last one which she's like an a social media influencer and the dude because i know who it is because i this book this book series is very popular but the guy his name is um christian harper and he like owns a security company and he was giving me like julian hates right he's like in his 30s these books i would say they're very accessible because the writing is not hard to understand is it quality literature no okay it's not quality literature and also do i care no because i read one classic a month well i didn't last month i was supposed to read the canon Monte cristo i tried to read it in a month i couldn't do it so i haven't finished it but you know i'm gonna read it this month whatever sometimes you just need like palette cleanser books or filler books or just books to read you know if i was to say to myself you know what you're only reading classic for like the rest of your life i'm never gonna read again you know because it's just <laughs> Well, I, I would read again, but you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just need variation and, and variety and whatever. Okay, so that's the end of that. No, there's not that. I still have many more books to show you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, a lot of books to show you. Okay, I'm going to read this one here because I keep seeing it in light. And, like, look at the spine. What is that? Someone drew on that. No, it's not. It's <gasps> no, it's actually just part of the flower. Um, But, like, it looked like it. But there's lots of fingerprint, like, marks. I'm going to have to get, like, can you see that? Yes, do you see that? see yeah i can say that this book is in very good condition actually i think this was the one that said it was severely damaged there's a little there's little like divots at the top there and something there but let me talk about this let me talk about this because i read things we never got over i think that's on my shelf up there yes it is that one that's underneath the no show basically i didn't like it but this is such a pretty cover and the, the author is nice and so i also got this one as well this one was also used if you'll see in the back there 
and up there down the bottom there's a whole bunch of things i can kind of talk about these two books together i said to my said to myself that i i just damaged them even further i said to myself that i would only get these books if i could get them used if i could not get them used i wasn't gonna get them just because i did not really like the first one however i've seen so many comments on instagram or people saying that they hated the first one and then this one was okay but then this one was their favorite or they preferred this one and then this one they were disappointed by but i also heard people say that who loved the blue one, which is Things Over Over, which I did not like. Okay, the thing is, what I didn't like about it was the characters. I don't like the main characters. I did not like Nox. I did not like Naomi. I liked the other characters. I liked Nox's grandma. I liked the dog, Waylon. I remember, I remember the dog's name. The kid, Waylay. I thought that she was a pretty cool kid. I liked Lucian, Sloane, even the brother. But I liked the vibe of the town. I even liked, like, well, okay, well, it was kind of a bad mystery plot. But I liked the fact that it was more than just standard contemporary romance but i will say that i just hated the main characters and they acted like so immature and he was like pushing 50 so i was like how are you gonna be 50 and acting this way so i'm hoping that the maturity levels of these characters are much greater i already know that this book here first of all these lucian and sloan they had fights <laughs> they used to be a thing and then they're not really a thing and i know the reason it's gonna be stupid because i'm just guessing because everyone didn't like it and then i just think that if people didn't like it then i think the main thing is that it's probably because well it's a bad reason that they're not talking and not together and the back she oh oh look there's even more there's more damage that we've uncovered and the, yeah there's like a, a massive like line there do you see that i don't know what that's about for every reader who takes a chance on my books oh to reader who don't hate it so that's not for me okay now i feel less guilty about hating on the books i got babel Raf Kwong. I want to read this and then I want to get yellow face and I want to get like the Poppy Ward trilogy thing. But I'm starting with this one. This is Dark Academia. This is like a nice cover. The other ones are much prettier, but I still like it. I don't really know what this is about, to be honest. But I've heard amazing things and it literally won book of the year. And I'm so excited for this. Like I read a Freedom McFadden book, The Housemaid. First of all, I didn't really like it because a lot of fat shaming. I feel like the main character was just so mean. Nina. I just remember her name. Nina. You remember the fish girl? Everyone was bagging out Nina for her weight, for her appearance, for, you know, letting herself go. And I'm just like, Nina was mean. So you could attack her for her character. You could attack her for her personality. You could attack her for all of that. You don't have to come for someone's physical appearance. Like, I just think that that's a very low thing to just attack someone. You know, and that, that's the thing. Some people, they always just attack physical It's like, stop. You know, like, when people get in fights with me, the first thing they attack is my forehead. And then people attack my acne. You know, there's a difference between having writing that's easy to understand and just writing that's just written badly. And that was written badly. But I saw the premise of this book. I didn't. I tried. I could not get this used. And I just wanted to read it. Because it's been something that I've thought about getting since, like, last year. But this one is also kind of damaged. Like, I feel like I, if I was to say that this was used, you know, look at the corners. It's called Never Lie. Now, this book, it's something about a creepy mansion. Trisha stumbles on a collection. Trisha Paytas. A collection of audio transcripts from Dr. Hale's sessions with patients. So then she listened to the cassette tapes. And I'm excited to listen to this. I'm going to read it. Not listen to it, I'm just saying because, you know, cassette tapes. Why is there a hole in my shirt? But cassette tapes, listening. No, I'm going to read this because, like I said, sometimes I just need something to read before bed that is just going to be, you know, not much thinking. And that's what I did with The Housemaid. I also read The Housemaid in a random park somewhere. And then I think if I was to read another, it would be The Co-worker. But also maybe The Inmate because I'm pretty sure The Inmate, The Girl, she... This is how you know that some, some of the books you're reading are questionable because she used to have a romantic relationship with one of the inmates and he's, like, really dangerous. And I was like second chance romance she's the reason why he's in and then i was like no this is a thriller sometimes i lie by alice feeney what are all these books talking about lying oh no yes another freedom of fighting book i read was the gift which is a novella and i feel like if she actually tried hard with that book she you know actually you know spent a bit more than like 10 minutes on it i feel like it it had so much potential i read rock paper scissors and i liked it you know, the end felt very rushed. And I was like, there's like no consequence for the, any of the actions of one particular character. It was very predictable. But I didn't mind it. Let's go back if you wanted to see it. So I'm excited for this. Now, the last book, I have heard a lot of mixed things about. A lot of mixed things about the author. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to get this book, it has to be secondhand. Like, it has to be used because then you're not directly giving your money to the author, you know? But I just wanted to say, I just wanted to see. And it's this book here. It's a very thick book. It's a very, like, big book. It's got a shiny cover, you know. I have a lot of books. This is my stack of them. Why is there the Hunger Games books? Like, what is in that? And why is it all crushed up? See, I really need to clean my room. Like, I can't even show you. Okay, fine. I'll show you what my room looks like. Disaster. My room is not dirty. It's just, it's messy. And see, it's just messy. See, I have, like, birthday cards and, and stuff there. And I got random stuff down there. And it's just, it's all, she's a statue. It's not a such and then this thing is collapsing like look at that like why is it all like dented down the side i don't know and that's like a complete mess i have all of this and then this is what my makeup situation is looking like 
and that's what my flow is looking like that's like the best thing in my room this is the most organized thing in my room so i'm gonna put those books on it so it doesn't just get cluttered so we have that and then yeah that's what it looks like it's all nice now okay that's it i'm going goodbye